Hello, 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 everybody. This is Tony, CEO, founder of Turn Luxury Car Rental. Just making another video for my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Turo. And I'm gonna talk about uh, what you gotta deal with being in the car rental business. You know, I'm gonna have cars gonna come back wrecked, damaged, stolen, uh, customer abuse, stuff like that. And that's what happened to me, okay? So this vehicle right here, this is my 2016 Ford Mustang convertible. Uh, just came back today and the vehicle is wrecked, it's damaged. So I'm gonna show you guys the damage. I'm gonna talk about it, go over my options, my protection plan, stuff like that, okay? Um, I had another good sold out weekend, successful weekend here in Louisville, Kentucky. I was sold out. Uh, a few of these other vehicles just came back today. Uh, this is my round 1500 pickup truck. This is my Dodge Durango. Uh, this is my Ford Mustang convertible. And this right here is my Chevy Camaro convertible. So all these vehicles literally just came back this morning um and then i have some more vehicles that came back yesterday go ahead and show you guys so you guys can see um got a shop here in Louisville, kentucky okay so these came back yesterday so i got an all black fleet all my vehicles are black on black hundred dollars a day no deposit unlimited miles okay uh this is my 2016 crosshair 300 s this is my other ram truck 1500 round 1500 pickup truck this is my 2018 dodge durango srt 392 and this is my 2016 Dodge Challenger RT so all these vehicles came back yesterday didn't have any issues they was I came back you know pretty clean gas filled up no damages stuff like that and then uh, the vehicles that are outside just came back today so um, like I said another busy sold out weekend business been booming down here so all these vehicles just came back this morning all right so go ahead and kind of show you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them, get them cleaned up, uh, wash, uh, get them ready for the next renter. However, this vehicle came back wrecked. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. I said, this is my 2016 uh, Ford Mustang convertible. And they was in Chicago over the weekend. And basically what happened, they said that somebody uh, sideswiped them and hit them and damaged the whole passenger side of the car. So you can see all this is damaged, all this is wrecked. Quarter panel is wrecked. Um, all this right here is wrecked. The wheel. Yeah, so a lot of damages on this vehicle. Um, right here it got wrecked. Front bumper, front quarter panel right here. So yeah, so now I'm about to take this to my body shop and I'm gonna go ahead and basically uh, have them look at it and get an estimate. And then I'm going to stand over to my customer and see what happens. Okay. Um, for those of you guys who know, like I said, I am on the 90 10 plan. So, me being on the 90 10 plan, you know, I get 90%, Tyrell gets 10%. Uh, my deductible is $2,500. All right. So, normally when I have uh, uh, situations like this, um, I always try to, you know, resolve it with the guests first, try to get them to pay for it, or try to get them to use their insurance. Okay. So, I first see if they have the insurance from Tyrell or not depending on which one they have which this this uh this guest they had the uh, minimum so with the minimum protection plan uh it's a three thousand dollar deductible okay with the standard it's a five hundred dollar deductible and if you have the premium it's a zero dollar deductible all right so those of you guys who don't know there's three different uh options uh on turbo or they can decline it and if you decline it you're going to be 100 percent responsible to uh something happen to the vehicle so this customer has the minimum plan all right and but that wasn't their fault. Somebody hit them. So I do got the police report right here. Go ahead and kind of show you guys. But basically they said that somebody sideswiped them and hit them. So there wasn't their fault. So here's the inside of the car as well. Get this police report out of here. Yeah, so here's the police report. Okay, so inside of the car, police report. So uh, we got everybody's information. Um, so the other person is supposed to be, he was at fault. He does have insurance with State Farm. Also, he said he's willing to pay. So we're gonna see how this happens, how this play out. So hopefully we can get him to pay to get this car fixed or go to his insurance. So I don't have to do a claim on Turbo or I go after the guests, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take this to my mechanic and go ahead and get an estimate, see uh, how much it's gonna cost to get this fixed and how long it's gonna take, okay? Because what sucks is because this convertible right here and this convertible right here, um, during the, then it's the summertime right now um it's, it's it's behind demand very busy booming both my convertibles and my slingshot gets booked a lot right now because it's the summertime so people want to ride in these drop top convertibles um in the summer spring and summer because the weather's nice okay so it sucks because now 
this vehicle can't make no money while it's down while it's in the shop all right so that's one thing that kind of sucks you know so time is money so i like to get my vehicles fixed as soon as possible because i can't make no money if the cars are sitting in the shop getting fixed getting repaired on okay so yeah so um just guessing looking at this just doing like a rough estimate um i'm saying it's probably going to cost anywhere i say about three thousand dollars i'm just guessing because i know how the similar vehicle got wrecked and it would cost about that much so I'm assuming this is probably gonna cost about three that about three k um, to get fixed. Maybe less, maybe more. I don't know yet. You know, I'm not an expert when it comes to like fixing cars and you know, body and paint and labor stuff like that. But I'll say it's gonna be around three thousand dollars. Could be less, could be more. Okay. So uh, really don't know yet, but it sucks because this is one of my money makers right now. It's the peak season for my drop top convertibles, and right now I can't make no money until I get it fixed. So if I can get this fixed in about a week. Uh, I will make a video uh, once it's been repaired. I will make a video kind of show you guys, you know, the before and after and show you guys how much it costs and how and how long it took to get fixed. So we're making a video about that, you know, really soon. But yeah, but it's going to talk about it. It's going to show you guys. Um, like I said, all these vehicles just came back this morning and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this one clean. If I get this one gassed up because the gas went out, we on full. So we're going to fill the gas up on this and get it clean. And I got some few more cars coming back in today as well. So yeah, so she had another vehicle down, another vehicle wrecked. I expected to happen because I have a lot of vehicles, have a lot of trips, a lot of, you know, so, so it's gonna happen. You know, it's a matter of when, okay? Especially if you have a lot of cars, a lot of trips, you're gonna have wrecks, you're gonna have accidents. Sometimes it may be the customer's fault, sometimes it may be the other person's fault. So uh, I don't even get upset no more, don't get mad because I'm used to it right now. You know, stuff like this is gonna happen, okay? Especially, you know, as you, as you grow and scale, the more cars you have, the more chance of you having a wreck. Um, um, with me, you know, I have over 1,800 trips and I probably have about 20 claims. So it's not bad at all. It's a very far, small percentage, but you know, but the more trips, the more cars you have, the more risk of having accidents and claims and stuff like that on Turbo, okay? So I just wanna set the expectations for anybody who uh, wanna get into the business. It is gonna happen. And don't get attached to these cars because uh, you are gonna have fender benders, are gonna have wrecks, damages, people smoking the cars, uh, people bring the car back dirty, no gas, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I learned to just accept it now and, and I'm, I'm used to it now. So I just wanna show you guys one last uh, tour of this car. Like I said, this is my 2016 uh, Ford Mustang convertible. Cause we just went to Chicago over the weekend and somebody hit them, sideswiped them and uh, just got the car back and about to go ahead and take it to my body shop so we can go ahead and get it, get an estimate and get it looked at and get it fixed. Um, this is one of my money makers right now because it's the summertime. If people want to ride in these convertibles uh, during the summertime when it's hot, okay? Yeah, so uh, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, like this video, hit that notification button. Um, I always do content like this on my page. Um, also, you can reach me on social media, Tony Luxury Cars on all social media platforms. And also, last thing before I let you guys go, um, I am doing one-on-one -on -one consultations for a very small fee. And I also have a two-row course as well for a very small fee. So if you want to get ahead of the game, um, don't make all the specs that I made. You can go ahead and book me for a consultation or you can book the course. It's definitely worth it. It's a very small fee. Saves a lot of time, a lot of headache, okay? And I will be making another video once this car is fixed to kind of show you guys, you know, how long it took and how much it costs, all right? So again, please uh, like this video, share, hit the notification button. If you like my content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's completely free. It doesn't cost you anything at all. And I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, I'm out. Peace, guys.